Hey, it's about that time. Okay, One Piece greatness. Okay, and I see what Oda's doing, okay? Straw versus Kaido. Okay. The shit started, okay? The the whole beef, the whole back and forth between the two has started, okay? Straw crew came in, okay, messed with Kaido's people, okay? Sheephead, when he got them fucking legs, Kim style, KOF 13 style by Sanji, okay? Diab Diablo Jambe, he got worked, okay? I call it too, because you, if you saw Sheephead's buckle, it looked like Kaido's symbol. It looked like Kaido, okay? After seeing what Kaido looked like, you know, going, going back, look at his buckle, his belt buckle, the symbol of what Kuro is from. It looked like Kaido, and he is from Kaido's fucking, like, like squad, okay? His crew. Okay, and Kaido's people came into the whole, you know, Zo place, the whole Mink tribe place, okay, looking for this warrior, okay, this samurai, okay, this ninja, okay, uh, or, or, or Rizo, okay, Kinemon's and Kanjuro's fucking friend, okay, and, you know, come to find out, Jack? Is a fucking mammoth, literally. Maxodon, okay. Maxodon, Power Rangers, okay. My thing, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger style. Maxodon, okay. He is Kaido's right hand man, okay, or right hand beast, okay, right hand animal, okay. It's not a man, but yeah. Also, he's one of the three, like the people. To be named the three cal calamities, okay? He's, he's labeled like there's three people that's named you know, the three calamities. Oh my god, like it's, that sounds like really menacing, really, really crazy, okay? But yeah, Kaido's right hand man came to Zo to look for this warrior, and the whole main tribe was like, okay, we can talk this out, trying to be peaceful, talk things like conversation, okay? We're using words that are instead of our hands. And when you see like Jack and, you know, and Sheephead and, you know, Kaido's people, okay, you see why they call Kaido the Thousand Beasts, like okay, the army of Zoan types, because you see, you know, Jack call his. You know, his subordinates to attack the mink tribe. You see, like, crab arms, different type of animals, stuff like that. So, he's so we're starting to see why, you know, we call, why they call Kaido the Thousand Beasts. So, why they mentioned that Kaido has a Zoan type army, okay? Then you got, you know, Caesar having them create Zoan type army, all that stuff. Like, we're starting to see this, okay? And, you know, that's crazy. It's like, you know, that's really, really, really dope to see, like, like Kaido's right-hand man is like a beast and a person, but a beast. Since, you know, Kaido, a thousand bees, you know, a whole bunch of Zoan type. Yeah, okay. Makes sense, right? Also, the Mink tribe, even their children are warriors, okay? Trained to be savages, you know, fighters, okay? The el the uh, the, the elders, the, you know, old people, everybody in the Ming tribe can throw hands, okay? Throw them hands, okay? And they were going at it with, you know, you know, Jack's subordinates, you know, the, with against Kaido's people. And Jack don't play. He's like, I'm not trying to, I'm not, I'm not here to talk. It's either you guys have them, okay? Or what? Well, we're going to torch the place, destroy everything. I don't care. He's like, he's like, Swung his trunk, okay. He's like, he don't care. He's not here to talk, okay. Very menacing, very savage, like, okay, okay. And they go at it, Mink Tribe, and you know, Kylo's people. And I guess you know that's how they made it to the the whole Well Force and Sanji and all of them. All all the like the rest of Strike Crew are, are going against Sheephead and the rest of Kylo's people. Also happened to Jack, like he left. Like where he? Well, where did he go? Okay, did he take Sanji? Okay, I don't know what to deal with that. Okay, but also that's why they want the the word warrior samurai. You know, that's yeah, that's that that's the word taboo. And you know, Luffy don't give a fuck. He don't care. He say we it was on his mind. Okay, I mean they had to beat him up to a pulp because he was like, oh. Oh, isn't that oh is is, is that Kenny Mo friend was looking for uh you know the ninja okay and you know it's broken everybody had like made that crazy fucking face like what are you doing Luffy trying to get killed okay and they're going to see the uh, Duke okay uh, uh one of the kings of Zo I think yeah one is Duke and also the, the I guess 
the protector of the king or like the, like the, like the bodyguards or musketeers. What? What? What the fuck? They got musketeers. And he's over. He's he's oh my god. O D. He's a tryhard. Tryhard. Uh. Cecilion, okay, just so, such a tryhard. He does everything 100%, okay, just, you know, just everything full hunt. Okay, just, oh my god, he's really passionate about, you know, his stuff. He's just really passionate. He's a passionate person, okay, he just really expresses himself to the fullest. But yeah, and the reason they got wiped out, and you know, the Duke is thanking Straw Hat Luffy, everybody, the whole Straw Hat crew, and they, it's all because. Yo, Jack and Kyle's people use a weapon, and come to find the weapon is Caesar's Clown's fucking poisonous gas. I mean, since Kaido is cool with Doflamingo, and Doflamingo has Caesar Clown, I guess Caesar Clown was in business with Kaido, in business with Doflamingo. He's business with Doflamingo, which makes him in business with Kaido. Kaido was using Caesar, Caesar Clown's fucking, uh, you know, scientific fucking methods, his inventions, his whole fucking test things. Okay, so it's no wonder that Kairos people have, you know, weapons from Caesar Clown. Okay, or Caesar Clown. Okay. Like, what happened to Caesar Clown? That's from Sanji and Caesar Clown. Did he take both? Caesar Clown and Sanji? Or did Sanji take Caesar Clown to go somewhere to some place? The whole sign thing right now is still really vague. He left a letter, okay, but we have ne we have not yet got into what the letter says, okay. What Sanji told the whole strike crew, with Luffy, and everybody else, and what he was doing, where he was going. So there's that because there's a whole lot of things going on right now. So they can put that on the back burner. So yeah, yeah. Also talking about how J Jack went to say Don Flamingo, and he's supposedly dead. The government, One Piece Illuminati. But yeah, I mean, Kaido's right hand man, and he's like labeled like one of the three calamities. Like, whoa, that's a fucking crazy savage title, okay? And he's Kaido's right hand man. Like, what? Oh, so he's not a fucking man. He's a fucking animal. He's a beast. He's a mammoth, okay? But yeah, uh, Jack is a force to be reckoned with, okay? That was crazy. We get, we're learning more about Kaido's people and seeing more of Kaido's army. And we're getting into the Straw Hat versus Kaido's Kaido. Okay. Like, we're getting into the feud. Okay. Luffy got word of Big Mom. Then he got fucking Kaido. He's fucking with his people. Okay. And that's like, once word gets out about Kaido, about Luffy, what, did, what Luffy did to Kaido's people and his support and his right hand beast. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna pop off. Okay, set it off. Did it pick a Smith? Okay, let's go, Queen Latifah. Let's go. Set it off. Okay, blow it up. I don't care. But anyways, One Piece at the eight hundred and eight. Uh, yeah. More information. The ball is rolling. We progressing. Let's go. Uh, just what happened to Sanji. That's like the what's happened to Sanji in season. What the letter says that Sanji wrote. Big things a popping, okay. I also learned more about the Ming tribe. They got musketeers. Everybody can fight in the Ming tribe. Everybody got hands, even kids, okay. Duke, he's the strongest person on in Zo, like the strongest person in the Ming tribe. He's the strongest person in the city on the island, on top of the fucking ancient elephant, okay. So there's that. Anyway, and he got beat, okay. And you know uh, his, you know Wanda's really salty about that. Salt. So, anyways, I see you later. I'm out.